understand it. Arrogance is ignorance. A first kind. You must remove your arrogance to think that I can understand everything. The baby, can it understand anything? It takes 15 years to begin to understand what, 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 what is. And the baby does not analyze. It is smiling. Yes or no? You did wrong for the baby not to analyze. Similarly, you are a baby in spirituality. When you are a baby in spirituality, what is there for you to understand or to analyze? You are a baby. You have to grow. You are a baby in spirituality. You are a baby in truth. You have to grow. Become an adult. Like a Buddha. Like a Jesus. Then you understand. Otherwise, you, how can you understand? I give you my flute. Can you play it? I play some music. Can you analyze it? Can you understand it? What raga I am playing? It is only another flutist who was 20 years of practice. Then he, I can understand what the hell I am playing. These people speak Chinese. Can they understand? Why I can't understand Chinese? <laughs> Stupid <laughs> Buddha! They are Chinese, I am Indian. How can I understand Chinese? Unless I spent 20 years learning Mandarin. This analysis of the dreams, of meditation experiences, of life experiences. Ten year old fellow, his mother dies. He asks, Why I lost my mother? What can be done to the ten year old fellow? Can be done. Five year old baby, she lost her mother. Where is my mother? She asked. Five year old baby, where is my mom? What will you say? Mom has gone there. What? what how can she understand? Mom has gone there. Five year old girl, three year old baby, she says, Where is my mom? Can you explain? And the baby can it analyze, understand? She only cries, that's all. Where is my mom? No, you are not my mom. You are my, my, my mom. How can we explain that? But when that baby grows to 15 years old, she will understand she lost her mom, which is normal. Nothing abnormal. Absolutely normal. Then you plan your own life. How many, you plan, how many months you have to stay? They plan their life, they plan their deaths. As we plan our body, we stay four days only in Bali. Why only four days? Because you got other things. So we come from the other world, go to the other world, we have so many other worlds. So we say only seven months in the body, three, three months in the womb. To give some experience to the mother. Why I come here to Bali? Not for myself. I don't have to come to Bali to have anything for myself. But I have to give something to others. So the baby who comes only for three months and dies, that baby has to give something to the mother, not for herself. So she comes here, dies here and goes away and the mother says, what is truth? So she begins to question. She goes, where is meditation? Pyramid meditation, I go there. If the baby, the baby doesn't die, the mother will never come to meditation. Never. If there is no disease, no, nobody will come to meditation. They will dance and dance and dance. <laughs> Suffering is the reminder from God that you are, that you plan for suffering. So, so that you will come into meditation. Because you are not so very intelligent that you will come into meditation without suffering. Buddha had, did not have any suffering for himself. He saw other suffering. He came into meditation. He was a very, very mature soul. Since birth, suffering is good. It brings us to truth. It brings us, brings us to awareness. But 
But once you become aware, there will be no more suffering. Once you become enlightened, there will be never any suffering. Because there is no cause, there is no need for any suffering. I will never get any suffering. Because there is no need for me. I am already awakened. I am already enlightened. Awakening, enlightenment, puts an end to suffering. Then only you are only available to help others.